Daisy wasn't always the queen of video marketing, were you Daisy? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some strategies on how to do video marketing for home business if you're in network marketing or affiliate sales, and there goes Daisy. <laughs> she didn't stick around for very long today, bye. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and I help home business mums and dads build their business online using social media and especially videos because we like videos. And I'm doing this topic today because I think that people don't quite understand how to do it well and then how to be able to duplicate that in their team. And sometimes doing video marketing for a more traditional style business versus network marketing can be a little bit different. So let me share with you what those differences are and why. Now the easiest way that I have done video over the years is just to do educational style videos. And the reason is because not everybody has this big personality that they can draw people into the video with. And so if I came out and tried to make my video like super, super entertaining, then that would be hard for people who maybe feel a little bit more introverted or are new to the industry and maybe are a bit scared about putting themselves out there. However, if you think about doing maybe Maybe an educational video or giving a tip that is much less pressure than having to be this big bright personality. One of the people who I learned video marketing from in the beginning was Ray Higdon and he was always quick to remind me if you think about what's in it for the person watching then it takes that pressure off to be this great personality and just deliver some valuable content like I'm doing today I'm giving you some strategies on how to do video marketing for network marketing or home business or affiliate marketing. Now I actually remember when I first started doing video marketing I think I'd maybe earned $20 online and here I was doing educational content on how to build a business online and I was literally just sharing tips that I was learning so I wasn't here saying hey I'm the expert but I was sharing really valuable stuff which created this audience or created like this familiarity with people so that they felt like they could reach out to me and especially in network marketing that's what you want you want people People reaching out to you having conversations I've also done video content in several other niches in fact at one stage I had a baby website which was all talking about birth and pregnancy and babies basically and I was a very new teacher at the time I was teaching these prenatal classes called hypnobirthing and you know what there was a whole lot of midwives and birth teachers who are way more experienced than I was but they weren't sharing their tips online and I was. So guess how I got a whole lot of my clients through YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And then I had a whole lot of people coming to me after that, all these birth teachers going, hey, how did you get all these clients online? And I was just sharing simple, simple tips. And I've done the same in online home business, network marketing, affiliate marketing. It's the same thing. But you might be asking, well, what do I talk about in my videos, Tracy? I got you there. <laughs> just give some really basic tips. Recently, I found this really cool app which actually allows you to do captions and subtitles on your video while you're recording just from your phone. Like it's such a cool app. And so I did a video sharing that tip. Like you don't have to be the expert at anything to share tips on a cool app, do you, right? Okay, so how does this lead to online sales or signups in your network marketing business or affiliate marketing business, you say? Well, basically at the end of the video, you wanna have a call to action and you can kind of lead people two different ways. So the first way, which a lot of people wanna do because they just want all these automatic signups online and I get it. So you give people a link, maybe to register register for a webinar, maybe to watch a video on your business and your company, or maybe to click and go and buy a product. However, to really attract people to your business, you actually want to have a conversation. So yes, a lot of the time I do direct people to get a download freebie on my website or maybe go to a webinar, but other times I will just direct people to reach out to me. And so that's where you can start a conversation. And as Ray Higdon, yes, I'm always going to quote him, <laughs> says it's better to reach for the conversation rather than the conversion. So rather than trying to quick convert somebody and thinking like somebody is like a dollar sign for you, think of them as creating a relationship and you want to create a conversation first because that's how you're most likely to get signups. And if you have already signed people up in your business, most of those people probably you would have already had a conversation with. Yes, 
I've definitely signed up people automatically without even speaking to them and that is the power of videos but most of the time you're wanting to have a conversation so here's my call to action to you if you have any questions about using videos for your home business then reach out to me maybe I can give you a couple of tips now remember just because someone reaches out to you doesn't mean you want to like word vomit your opportunity all over them okay and I'm not gonna do that to you <laughs> if you reach out to me it's just start a conversation so be cool <laughs> so you can either go to my website tracyrose.com or just message me so that's it for my little how to tip video today I hope you enjoyed it and again like I said reach out to me if you have any questions about building your business online or especially video marketing I'll see you in the next video bye